We understand it's a tourist city, but where do we go? That question has become more pressing since the COVID-19 pandemic began and shelters reduced capacity. There was a gentleman, I saw him yesterday, just walking down the street. He's barefooted, his feet are bleeding, and he, he was the one that was here for two days. He's just sitting here, and you know, he hasn't had a bath in months and months, and I don't know what to do. I don't know what the answers are. Many with nowhere to go have ended up here. The people you see over there across, we call that square. It's a place where we're salvation. The Diocese of Corpus Christi allowed them to stay at the old Sacred Heart campus temporarily. The square is within walking distance to City Hall, which begs the question, what is being done to help? A homeless coalition was created a year ago, but what has happened since? Right now we have two staff members on board and we are recruiting our work, our homelessness administrator position now. City of Corpus Christi Chief of Staff Michael Rodriguez said besides staff changes, the city has created a more effective point in time count. We go out on one or two nights and we count all the homeless individuals in the city, in the county. With a better count, the city can receive more federal funding. A $1.8 million contract provides help with rent and utility. Since October 7th, $290,941 have been spent. We are working on utilizing that funding for a drop-in shelter that will provide a safe place for homeless individuals where they could wash their hands and use the restrooms. And we're also working with agencies across the city to see who can help manage this facility. Recently, the Diocese of Corpus Christi and Catholic Charities were able to get porta potties donated to the square. The more we got to talk to our homeless brothers and sisters, the more they shared uh, what were some of their needs, and, and they were things that we take for granted. I'm like a baby, I'm like my mom crying when they're putting them in. Originally homeless at the square were to have moved by October 1st, and city manager Peter Zanoni said city council has not been briefed on a permanent plan yet. What the ingredients include is we have money from the federal government, we know there's a need. The staff and the housing and homelessness unit have been looking at potential sites. We would need one of our partner agencies to run the, the, the facility. The ideal location, he says, is an outdoor shaded structure that has access to restrooms and on-site security. The reality of this whole situation is it's not gonna go away, no matter what. All we can do is assist one another and show that we can grow from it. Now, City Manager Peter Zanoni says he's not aware of a specific date that these people here have to be gone by. Of course, we'll be keeping you updated right here on Chris 6 News of any future plans the city has to have. Reporting live from downtown Corpus Christi, Chelsea Torres, Chris 6 News. All right, thank you very much, ma'am. Now, again, the city announced the creation of the Homeless Services and Workforce Housing Division back in November of 19, uh, 2019. Now, some of its stated goals at the time included creating an inventory of what services are available for the homeless, reconnecting homeless citizens with their families, and also connecting homeless veterans with available community resources.